Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you how to turn off your Amber Alerts or Emergency Alerts if you want to on any iOS device. I'm running an iPhone 11 Pro on the latest iOS, so if it works here, it's probably going to work on any device. And Really on any iOS version, it's pretty much the same exact process. So what you want to do is you want to have you know your settings app. You want to go ahead and open it, and you want to go ahead and scroll down into Notifications, which is right there. So once you see that, you just want to click on it. And once you're here, you'll be presented with a bunch of different apps. What you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see these three buttons right here. So you see Amber Alerts, Emergency Alerts, and Public Safety Alerts. So what Amber Alerts are, it's like pretty much if a missing person is ever, you know, missing or whatever, if a person is missing, or if a kid gets kidnapped or whatever the case is, some crazy things. Basically, these Amber Alerts will go ahead and tell you, you know, give you a signal, oh, this person's been abducted or whatever in your local area. So if you have it off, you can turn it on. If you want it on or off, you can go ahead and disable and enable that by that way. Now, emergency alerts are things like, you know, weather, crazy things like that. If there's a tornado in your area, if a hurricane, whatever, those things will go ahead and, you know, if you enable that, that actually will tell you and give you a notification. Okay, heads up, there's some crazy weather coming on or there's this or that. So it'll go ahead and let you know about that. And then public safety alerts, basically, if you guys remember, I think last year, the president of the United States actually was sent a text to everybody. Things like that are pretty much what falls under public safety alerts. So you can go ahead and enable or disable that. Now, there's one out of these three that's really, really annoying. I'm not even going to say which one it is, but basically whenever it happens, it scares me like crazy because it's just the most obnoxious sound in the world and it takes over my phone and it's so, like, it freaks me out whenever it happens. So it's one of these, I honestly don't even know which one it was, but I just disabled all of them because it freaked me out like three, four times. I'm like, okay, I'm done with this. And I figured out how to disable it and I went from there. So that is pretty much the process. Most of you will probably want to enable these, to be honest, because, you know, in the situation we're in, we want to be notified of what's going on and things like that. So that one, you know, enabling these will probably be the best way to go, but you can always disable these too if you need to. So that is pretty much the process. That's how to do it on an iOS device, on an iPad, same exact process. On an Android, I'm sure it's the same way. You just go into your notifications and go on from there. So that is pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.